Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is time for something that it's not going to be so much of this year. It is time for first impression and I'm going to do a first impression of this palette. This is Urud from Aurensai. This is one of their small pen palettes. I don't know if it's a six pen palette or a five pen palette because it has a split pen in the middle. And what I have heard, this is supposed to be a really, really good palette. I don't know, I have the Giant Wolves palette that was a collab with Annette's Makeup Corner and that palette I do really, really love, love, love. I really love that palette, so we will see if this one is good as well. So I'm going to do the obvious thing, I'm going to, because I really want to dig in, in this green shimmer so i'm going to take this in my crease and these two on my lid and i think maybe this one as well like in my inner corner haven't decided on that one yet but i think so so i think we just get started so i think i just will start then so this matte green one and is the prim primer primer setting yes so what i know there is a lot of difference in quality when it comes to Ona's eye and this palette I think I only have heard good things about but I don't know if the other mini palettes or smaller palettes is the same quality as this one I have no idea I don't know if you can hear Ines out in the kitchen she is clawing on like this scratch board Okay, this shade, I think it is a little bit more darker than I thought it was going to be, but I actually don't mind. I want to do something deep and grungy today, so I'm totally fine with this. And I'm going to try to keep Ines occupied while I'm filming, because my I think my boyfriend is doing his daily meditation and... I'm throwing a toy to her, but now she, like, she has to give the toy back to me. But sometimes she do, and sometimes she don't, and right now she do not. It feels like it's becoming a little bit patchy. Now she's crazy. I don't know what she's doing. It's like she has been asleep in the sofa for kind of like the whole day. And now when I'm finally sitting down to do my makeup and record a video, then we are getting crazy. Sometimes I don't know who she's talking to because Astrid can't hear her, so I don't know. Okay, it feels like this shade is a little bit patchy. Actually, maybe if I just keep blending it a little bit more. I think it looks kind of good at least. I don't know also if my eyeshadow primer, it's getting pretty low. So I don't know if this is working as it should anymore. I will go in with a dark matte shade, this one, and then I will take this one on the most of my crease so I will start with this really this was really really dark to tap it up quite a lot and just put it out here yeah this was <laughs> really 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 pigmented like really pigmented it feels like I got a little bit too much of it. I'm going to blend it out in my crease. Okay, this I did tap it off so so much before I put it on. So this was really 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 pigmented. And now I'm just taking some of the fallouts that 
came when I, or taking the thing that I tapped off for the first time and it gave quite a lot of color as well. So I would say that this is really, really super pigmented. So I'm much more impressed by this shade than the green one that I had in my crease. Okay, now I'm going into the shimmery one, this luxury. And I have no idea what to expect. We will see. I don't know if I should cut this. I think this has a really dark base to it. It has a really, really dark black base to it. With some green specks in it. And why did I take it all the way in when I said that I wanted to take a light shade in my inner corner? I don't know, but I guess I have to try to fix that later. This was a really nice shimmer. It has like a black base to it, I would say, with green specks. I think I could have taken this like all over my lid instead and it would have looked really really cool. So it's really really deep. I will actually like take it all over my lid. I don't even know it, if it will show that I have this dark matte shade out here. Just a little bit. And this is also one of these shades. I can blend it up in my crease. The green specks like disappears a little bit. But I don't mind at all. And this was such a dark, dark shade. It just feels like I have a lot of fallouts. But this, this is such a cool shade. And I think that I have somewhat control over it, even though I haven't put on glitter primer, just taking it on my eyeshadow primer. I just love how deep and dark this is. And I guess that it's because of this shade people love this palette, because this shade is... So amazing. The only thing is now I look, it doesn't look too good underneath my eyes because I have a lot of fallouts, but I'm going to fix that and I'm going to put on my foundation and everything. And I think I might will take, or maybe I should take this in my inner corners. I will see what I will do, but I will take away the fallouts and fix my base and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Wildcat from Colourpop. On my lips I took Unspoken from Nabla. This is a really deep red shade as you can see. And yeah, this is my finished look. I also did put this matte with the shimmer and this light greenish in my inner corners. I don't know what I think about it, but yeah, I do like it. I think though I like the Giant Wolves better. This shimmer is really, really nice. And I think it goes great to put like over my whole lid and also blend it out in my crease so yeah nothing to complain about with this palette maybe the sh shimmer the matte. how how can i have such a hard time between shimmer and matte maybe this one wasn't like as smooth as i wanted it to be but at the same time this one so so intense so yeah i think that is my first impression and I don't know what more to say. I think it's 
a good palette, my first impression. Is it amazing? Is it something that I don't have? No, I don't think so, but I don't mind to owning it. And yeah, that was my first impression with the Oudid palette. And I have three palettes in my collection that I haven't used. I think it is three palettes and four, three, three palettes in my collection that I haven't used and it will come first impression on all of them maybe or I will use them in the Get Ready With Me but then hopefully if everything goes as planned there will be no more first impressions because I'm going to try to have a no by year. Maybe I fail, maybe it will turn out to a low buy, I don't know, but this might be one of the few first impressions you will see on this channel for this year. But yeah, I really hope that you like this video, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!